This is what I mean. Look at them. <laughs> That's Gaia. <laughs> and she loves to do that. I love how she's living her best life. <laughs> she falls asleep in the sun. Mocha, on the other hand, she likes to stand on that stump and look like she's uncomfortable while she sleeps and chew the cup. scared of them but look <laughs> I just jumped on that where they can't reach her but they're starting to come around and um, trying to play with them that's Mr. White and Gaia go say hi Gaia you want to play with me what Sarah what do you want you chunky yeah you've been eating lots of alfalfa and grain and you've been staying in your pen so you need some exercise girlfriend you surely do you need to stay outside huh get some sun take care of your children okay i need to go do chores okay i'll trust you now, it's been kind of crazy, but they do need to come out full time. Right now, they are, I don't know if you can see, but she just pooped. Maybe that's too um, TMI, but it really is something that is worrying me. So you can see they're not like normal poop. It's more like clumped together. And I think it's because she needs to come outside. That pen is way too small for her and she just needs that. So look at Brie. She's like, this is my Grammy, not your Grammy, okay, look kids. This is my Grammy. So I'm gonna let her be outside today uh, and keep an eye on her for a few days. Sometimes when they're stressed, they have that in my experience. Of course I'm not a vet but in my experience sometimes they have that kind of poop when they're stressed and there is some kind of warm that they can fight themselves and they don't need to be dewarmed but if by the second or third day she's not doing better then I am going to go into plan B and give her a dewarmer. I'm gonna talk to my vet and see which one would be the best option. I think I'm overthinking. See, I think that I'm overthinking. That's how much I overthink things. Um, the fact that they need to be outside. I just, in the beginning, the girls were so scared of them and it was just so traumatizing for this little girl, Brie. Was very, very scared and kind of hiding, and so I gave it a few more days. Those are the twins, as you can see them. It's their mom, Mocha. So I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna give them some time. Now, Mocha, who is that one in the middle, the mom, she is in a terrible mood. I'm, I'm telling you, a terrible, a terrible mood. And she's been super mean to the babies. I don't know if the fact that her girls, her twins, are so scared of them has anything to do why, on the why she's being like that. I'm not home all day, so I feel like if something happened, I am not gonna be here to see what happens and maybe come back not in time to help or something like that. But as you can see, the babies are super good, super healthy. That little girl could care less was scared of her. She's exploring the whole thing. She's hiding in all the places. And... 
so it's maybe me that I'm overthinking everything but I just need to conquer the fear and let them out um, they can still go through those holes over there uh, there are small holes but they can still go through them hi Mr. Black come here look at this big boy he is such a big boy now you're a big boy Mr. Black you're so cute. And I don't know what mocha thing she's gonna smell. She's interested. And then she hits back them. Well, she lost interest. These little kids are very persistent. So the fact that they can go through those small squares in the fence, it worries me. Even though they are bigger and more curious. I'm sure they'd want to explore outside, so they tried it a couple of times already. Oh, well, you remember you had kids. Good for you, Clara. And Clara has a bad temper today. It's okay. It's okay. You will have to watch out for your kids, okay? Yeah, you're gonna have to do the same when you have your kids in about a month and a half, huh? Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. You're okay. Those children are cute. Be nice to them. And your sisters and brothers. You just want the love? I love you. You know, I'm a big belly. Big belly girl. What do you want? What? What's up? Oh, Mr. Blanc, he always gets in trouble. He comes back. He's like, can I nurse from you? Can I nurse from you? Can I nurse from you, sissy? No, he can't. You're a good girl, Mocha. You're a good girl, but you're a naughty girl. The more pregnant, the more needy she gets. You can go if you want. I'm not holding you here. Go help your child. She's being headbutted by Auntie Annie. I swear, you're gonna get in trouble. You can't do that. Go find your mom. Where's your mom? Mr. Black. This ain't your boy. Where's your mom? Where is your mom? Where is your mom? You have to find your mama. Yes, go find her. Mocha is not your mom, she's your shishi. Yes, your older sissy. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're a sweet boy. You're a sweet boy. You're my baby. You're my baby boy. My baby boy, he likes all the scratching. And Mocha's jealous of him. You want all the scratches too? You can get all the scratches, you know? It's just a baby. You are a sweet girl. You have the cutest face. Oh, oh, oh. She might be interested in that little man. Be cute. Be nice to him. He likes to be scratched. <laughs> Excuse you, Mocha. I love you. You're a sweet mama. She's my girl. Stop it. Sir, would you like to go with your mom and drink some milk? Would you like that? Where's your mom? It's the block. Where is she? 
Where is your mama? Bree? I'm watching you. You're so cute. So, so, so cute. Meet the cow. And meet the wild. I'm kidding you, Mocha. You cannot eat my cam, okay? You can't eat it. I am petting Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow. I mean, Mr. Cow. Look at this. Don't tell me it's not the cutest face you've ever seen. He's so, so cute. I have to go do chores. And he has the sharpest teeth. The sharpest. You weird. Look at Mr. Cow. He wants to fight the girl. He's like, I'll fight you. I don't care. You're bigger than me. Look at me. I'm a manly man. I am scary. <laughs> Look at Mr. Wine. Two against one. That's not fair. You're so sweet, Mocha. But you gotta stop it, Mom. Mr. White Wolf, he won't leave me alone. He just wants pets. Right, like this. Oh. Are you scared of something, Gaia? Oh, your Auntie Annabelle, you should be. And the animal is not very nice. Very nice. Hi, Annie. She knows her name. <laughs> you know your name, huh? Oh. Well, the sisters are gonna fight to who bites my hair. I love you. Even though you're a bully, I love you. How many children are in that belly? Maybe they're coming around to Mr. Black. Too much smelling from going around. Too much sniffling, right? You want me to help you find the teeth? Oh my goodness, that one's his breakfast. Look at the boy. Listen, I can't keep you. I can't. I can't in good, in good faith keep you. Oh. Why do you do that to me? Why? I can't keep you. I wish I could. I think you're going to be perfect for somebody else. You love me and I love you. But that's not the way that things work. I know. Life, right? But I love you. And I think you'd make pretty babies. Yes, I think you would make the prettiest baby. Look at his face. He listens to my voice and look at the faces I make. Would you like to make some babies one day? Yes, you would make beautiful, beautiful babies. Yes, yes, yes. Now go find your mom. It's just that she's waiting to see if I put out the alfalfa. But I'm giving them alfalfa hay at night now. 
and these are always on grass hay. And the girls are in grass hay in the morning. You guys think that I can be there all day, but I can't. I have to work, I have things to do, I have a life. And although you guys are cute, like super cute. Where's Mr. Black? Look at Mr. Black, he's so lost. <laughs> like, where is this place? Girls, can I hang out with you? No. You can. Okay. Bye. Bye, girls. You're missing out. Oh, he found his mom. There she is. Mr. Black, go find your mom. Those are not your mothers. I feel like he's gonna get in so much trouble. Like you better get street smart. Would you call Mr. Black? He's kind of lost. Come here, Mr. Black. Mr. Black. Come here, boy. Come here, baby. He's obsessed with Annabelle for whatever reason. And he's pooping. Great. Look, he's going with Annabelle. Like, excuse me. Do you have a deed? She does, but she doesn't have milk. You could go with her, but I don't think it's she's gonna like it. See if Clara goes and get him. I feel like he gets too lost when he's outside. Like, unless Clara's looking for him, actively looking for him, like, he'll even be away from his brothers and sisters and he'll crawl under spaces where he shouldn't be. So yeah, that's why, see, he's under the, under the milk stand and he's not moving. It's like, oh, there he is, coming out. <laughs> and everyone's so curious. Go find the teeth, my boy. He found it.